Hello everyone. Uh, I'm going to start uh, showing you how to develop Windows Phone applications. Uh, let's run the Visual Studio 2012. Uh, I will select a new project and uh, I will go to Windows Phone and as I can see I have many templates to start with for Windows Phone. There's the basic app which comes blank. There's the panorama app. I will try one. Uh, here uh, when, I, when I chose the panorama application template uh, I can choose which, uh, which operating system framework I want to target. So I will wait. Okay, so I will just run this template that I just created and show you what, what, what does it offer. Uh, here I have the emulator for the Windows Phone uh, development. Uh, using the emulator, I can run the app and do the, all the testing that I need. Uh, this panorama application shows the basic panorama control for the Windows Phone, the one that you see in, in almost all, uh, all applications. You have uh, divisions and tabs of data. Uh, using the emulator, I can, I can do anything uh, virtually on Windows Phone. I can access all the applications. I can also open more options where I can change the accelerometer uh, data I'm retrieving, the location. I can take screenshots for the mobile. I can see what network it's connected to. So uh, I'm, I will try to port the same application that the guys did to, to Windows uh, Phone. Yes, we can. Okay, let's close this one. I'll create a new application. New project. Uh, you can uh, download the, all the tools required for Windows Phone development for free from MSDN. You will get the Visual Studio for uh, mobile for Windows Phone for free as well and all, uh, all the SDK you have a training kit where you can do all the training. I'll choose a, f a simple phone app. I will call it uh, Movies Database. Okay, I'll choose Windows Phone 8. So what this template provides like we, we have seen in Windows, uh, Windows 8, there's this XAML.app, it's the entry point of the application. Uh, here this, this class starts the application and you can do all the, all the you can see all the events that, that take care of starting and deactivating app, like here application launching, application closing, application deactivated or activated if you, if you get a phone call for example while using the app, it will be deactivated. You can configure everything here and maybe save some critical data or, or anything you want to do. You will get also a folder called assets. You will see uh, some, some uh, tiles the app is using, all, all found here. Uh, we have this main page, with, which is the first interface and the, the first page in the application. You will see in the properties as well, this w, WM app manifest, which is very important. Let's have a look at it. Here you, you specify the display, display, display name of the application. You specify which resolutions it supports. Uh, how do you want the tile to look like? And you can browse for tiles, everything for the application. Uh, even on Windows Phone, you, you cannot use the, the machine resources unless you took permission from the user. So, if, for example, if you want to use the camera, you have to specify that your phone requests to use the camera. So on, when the application runs, it will ask for, can, do you allow this application to run the camera? Uh, as well as maps, as uh, contacts, appointments, everything you want to do. Location. Or location, uh, yes, of course. And wallet, of course, here push notifications, everything you want to do that is out, using outside resources, you, you have to ask for permission. Uh, here are also some, some 
hardware requirements like NFC and the camera. Here, if, if the application, maybe some applications require a front camera. So you want to specify this, that this application requires a front camera. So basically, basically this, this, uh, this file will, will take care of the of packaging of the, of the application. So once it's on the store, you, you will find all the details that you specified here. Like, do you have? Can you access the core functionality? Like, uh, to the network from uh, the Wi-Fi? Uh, uh, the, the, la, you cannot do this. Maybe you can, you can hack it or I don't know, but... Uh, like routing, can you route the phone or like Android, you can the phone to access the... Uh, no, you, 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 can only, you can only use the APIs that the Windows runtime provides. Can you control the CPU power or...? You can watch the performance. You cannot control no. the CPU, the CPU, or 50%? Uh, no. Okay, uh, so basically this, this file is so important for the application. It defines how the, your application look like on uh, the store. Okay, let's not save changes. Okay, so uh, the guys did a small, uh, a small application that gets the movies from an XML file. Uh, I want to port the same file that they used for the movies. I'll say add existing item. And add it to my project. So here I have this movie class. It requires HTTP client, so I'm going to download. Uh, there's something called NuGet where you can download packages, like open source packages. So uh, I'm going to try to find the HTTP client package for Windows Phone. It's the package manager. The, it's where you can find anything just by a search button. So so it's here it's it looking is. online, by the way. So all the packages that you, you add, they're, they're managed by the NuGet. So once they are updated, the NuGet will tell you, please update this package. OK, I'll accept. OK, here I have all my issues resolved. So here they did, they, 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 created, uh, they created a variable at the app.xaml which is here. So I create a... So you don't have, if you want to import the application, you don't have to take the dependency file. Uh, you, can, you can create a managed uh, portable class library and you use it for, uh, for both uh, Windows Phone and Windows 8. I mean, if you want to move the code, for example, uh, you don't have to, must have to take the HTTP uh, to download it. Yes. Uh, the package. Like, uh, you'll, ha you'll handle packages for every, for every project separately. Okay. Hala, the ideal thing is to create, let me show you, you can create uh, a new project which is called Portable Class Library. This Portable Class Library, uh, it, it can be shared between Windows Phone, uh, Windows Store apps, the one that the guys created, and Silverlight applications and any other uh, uh, framework, .NET framework. So for the sake of this presentation, I'm not going to do it right now. This portable class library, by the way, has the engine, but you will worry about the design for every interface. So it's, it basically takes out 90% of the job and you still have 10% just to style the application. Uh, all, the, all, the, all, the, all the functioning that you want in your application that, that you can share it between the apps, you can do it in a class library separately. So you code it once and use it in, uh, in, uh, in two places. So I'm going to create this list of, oops, okay, list. list of movie. I will resolve it right now. And try making it static. Maybe it works. Yeah, it works. It's called 
Mahmoud Mufi. Uh, I will resolve the reference for the list. Uh, movie.cs, here it is. It's also, okay. you have to resolve it for the movie, I guess. No, I have to change the namespace. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so I create this list of movie and I call it my movies in the app.xaml. Okay. Uh, so when I build now my application, okay, just one second. Uh, app. I guess, yeah, the static thing. Okay. So, in the main page, I want to show all the listing of uh, the movies uh, that I, I'm getting using this, uh, this uh, XML file. Uh, here you can see that there's a grid, like it's uh, the layout route. You have in Windows Phone like three major uh, layout containers where they are the grid where you can specify rows and columns uh, and you can specify the height, the width, everything you want. You have the canvas where you can point everyone, uh, every, everything to a certain, uh, certain position. You give it the left, the width, the, uh, the right, the uh, top uh, attributes. And there's the stack panel which uh, stacks everything together, either uh, horizontally or vertically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a long list selector and drag it into here. And this long list selector, I'm going to create an, a template to show the, to show the movies. So I'm going to edit, create an empty and I'll call it movie template. So okay, just to catch up with you, uh, what you created here is uh, the long list selector. Yes, and I'm now de defining the template for every item inside it. Okay, so the long list selector contains all the items. In exactly. It? Okay. Exactly. Uh, so here I jumped into the template. I'm gonna get the template from the from the solution I've built it before, just not to let you wait. Uh, and here's the template. Okay, so inside the template of this long list, I have the, an image, a stack panel showing the title, the rating, and the genre of the movie. Uh, now, I want to, what I want to do is when I access this page here, at the main.xaml, I want to get the list of movies that we have, we have uh, retrieved and give them, give them like an item source for this, uh, for this uh, long list selector. So here I'm going to do a get data function. So I create, I write a function and then I generate the, the method for it. I will call the movies dot get movies movie okay I'll give this as async movie dot get movies and I will name the I forgot to name the long list selector I will name it movies list and then here I will say that movies list dot item source is equal to app dot movies dot my movies so I'm giving the object that I created here and the app dot since the, the, the app object will, 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 uh, will remain in the application 
as long as the application is run, it's running. So, and this, this list is static, so it will be shared among all the application. So in the, what I did here is I loaded, I loaded uh, the list of movies into this, uh, this uh, object, and then I gave it to the movie list as an item source. Let's try to run it. Okay, so here are the movies. Okay, let me just change the, I will change the application name. It will be called movies database all new movies I'll run it again sorry uh, just one second Clean the project. Try to clean That's it. Okay. <laughs> hey, uh, open the other one. Uh, oh, the no. Yeah. Clean, clean solution. We run. We run. I will close the emulator. You can clap, guys, now. <laughs> okay, so we've done the list of all the movies. Uh, let's uh, do the details page. Are you... Uh, do you agree? Okay, so what we're going to do is bind an event to the change of selection at the long list. So all I want to do is go to the list here and uh, I can see the properties down here. I go to events and say that on selection changed. Let's navigate to another page. So uh, when, uh, when the selection change, what I want to do is call the navigation service that's provided by the Windows phone. And I will ask, ask it to navigate me to a new page. I give it a URI. URI can be absolute and relative. Uh, and the URI is details details dot XAML. Uh, and I want to go specifically into a single movie. I will, I will use the title as a identifier for this movie. I know it's uh, more ideal to do to use a good. Uh, then uh, I want to get the title of this selected movie and send it with this parameter right here to the next page, with, which I haven't created yet, but I'll create very soon. So I will tell it that the long list selector, which is called uh, what have we called it? which is called movie list. I get this from here. Uh, then I say movie list dot selected item. And since it's bound to a movie, list of movies, the whole list, so a single item will be a movie. The as will cast the single selected item to a movie. And then I will specify that I want its title. And then I use the URI 
to, I want to specify the type of the URI that I'm using. Let's say it's relative. Okay, so this code here will navigate me to a details page I will, I will create right now. Uh, and it will send along a title parameter, which I will get, I will query it, query the string on the details page. So for the details page, all I do is right click on the project and add a new item. I will use a portrait page, call it details and add. So here's my details page. Uh, what I want to do on the details is I want to get the movie that I have selected from the previous previous uh, previous page. So uh, I want to override the unnavigated point unnavigated two. So this function is called whenever uh, this uh, a page is, is accessed. So we're navigating to it using the navigation service. I have to use this, uh, this event to load my data. And I will say that if app dot my movies is equal to null. I will ask it to get the data. Else I will ask it to load the data. I will just create the, these functions. So I right click I don't right click. I generate a stop. Uh, this one is the same, the same one that I used here. So I'll copy it. Okay. And uh, load data. I will just create it. load data what it does is first I want to query the the title that I sent from the main page so I'm going to create a string name uh, I will call it, I will call the navigation context dot query string these functions are, are provided by the Windows uh, phone uh, I will tell it get the title. Uh, then, okay, what's wrong with this? Nothing wrong. Then I want to get, I have the list of, of movies. I want to get the movie that has this title. So I'm going to do a link query and say that, oops. First I want to create a, a private movie item so I can persist it in all the page then I will say item is equal uh, from movie in app dot movies so here I'm creating a link query where where, where movie dot title dot contains the name select so query the movies list this one app my movies and find the movie with title like the one I just queried and select this movie I'm gonna this one will return me a list, so I will materialize it into single or default. Okay, so now I have this item. 
what I have to do right now is create an interface and give it this item. So for the sake of this demo, I will get the interface from the demo I've been working on before. So this grid, I shall delete it and replace it with the grid we created before. So I'm going to get this grid as it is, copy it and move it to here. So what we have here is a grid control called content panel and we have inside it uh, we have inside it a text block showing the rating, we have uh, the title, we have, uh, we have, we did binding to to the image as well. Okay, let, let me show you how it looks like. So it's empty right now. And I'm, I want to give this, the whole grid, the data context, which is right here. So I'm going to say layout root dot data contest and I'm going to bind it into the item. So basically that's it. I, I got, I, I retrieved the item then I'm, I'm going to give it to the data context of the grid layout root. Uh, let's try to navigate it to, okay. Let's run. So if I choose Habit Lulu, what will happen? Sorry. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, I did. So if. Uh, From the from the longest selector item. Yeah, go to the longest selector properties. Go to the yeah. settings. Oh. So let's debug it to see if it's. If he touch enable, I guess the yeah. yeah. No, no, it's mapped. It's already mapped. No. Here it is. Properties level. The okay. settings bar. Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. Item. Uh, no, not item. It's called. Maybe. No. Just one second. Come to see. Same as this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna. So I'm gonna select this one. Just one second. No. <laughs> Okay, so seems that we had to. So I'm gonna continue. And here I have the details page for Gravity Movie. So if you go back and go to, sorry, I will remove this breakpoint. Press F5 to continue. Here you have the Captain Phillips. Uh, let's see, Don John. Here you have the ratings, the name, and the uh, basically that's it. Uh, I was planning to add uh, like for sharing if you want to share the movie. Can we do it? Um, would you like to see how you can share on this phone? Okay. Okay. So uh, Windows, Windows Phone applications basically have this uh, phone toolbar 
application bar I will copy this from here and add it to the page in the details uh, I'm gonna add it here what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create uh, an images folder for the icons and I'm gonna get these images from here so I'm gonna drag them into the images folder so what we have now in the details page is two application bar items that's uh, and on the share I wanna okay share uh, okay I'm gonna on the button click of the share I'm gonna create the event handler for sharing and here I will create a very simple share status task share task which is equal let me resolve this and you so in this share task what I'm gonna share the status of this share task it's a task provided by the Windows phone where you can share it so you just call this API which is share status task and the operating system will handle everything and you can for example say uh, uh, what uh, an amazing movie and then I'm gonna use the item which is inside the page and call its title and then I will say share task dot show so this will launch the sharing uh, functionality in the Windows phone so when I click it right now okay just let me fix the thing here So when I get inside this movie, you have to clean again, I guess. Then the later, that's not good. The clean solution. So basically, if uh, if you want to share right now, you will share over all the social networks. It's not only Facebook or Twitter again. So the operating system is handling all this sharing uh, action. Exactly. So now. So if you want to share Habit Lulu, you click here. Okay, sorry again. Okay, let me show it to or you. Or maybe it is uh, it's permission. It's a permission no. thing. Uh, also, I want to demo it on the phone. Okay. When a link was it? Yeah. Just let me. So I'm gonna now uh, deploy this application on my mobile. Okay, this is coming over here. So I'm going to deploy it on the device. So now the application 
it's deploying on the device instead of the emulator. Okay, I'll have the camera. Okay, so this application is deployed here on my on my Windows phone. So I can go to Ready for example and I will share it and it will tell me where do I want to share it. I can share it on Twitter and LinkedIn and say yes. I can choose the privacy for my shares. So I'm going to share it me only and say, so the application says, what an amazing movie, Ghadi. And now it's shared. So basically, basically that's it. I'm, I want to mention uh, two more things for Windows Phone development. Uh, you can go into Microsoft Virtual Academy Microsoft Virtual Academy and you can find free courses on Windows Phone development and trainings it's like a jump start for beginners where you can know all the features and everything you can do in Windows Phone development okay so here's the Virtual Academy it's Totally free, yes. All you have to get is a live ID, yeah. which is free. And uh, every, every, every session you take, you will collect points. And they so, so they have a badge system? Yes, they have badges like, uh, and medals and uh, incentive things. Uh, there's also the app Dev Studio, where it's a web application development platform for Windows Phone. This one is also free. This one uh, replaces uh, Visual Studio? No, basically uh, you can create like uh, simpler applications and what you can do is you can export the code and you can continue working on it on Visual Studio. On this thing uh, you, will, you will not need the programming skills so basically you can just I will show you. He will show you a just just the uh, interface there and uh, develop uh, when will app dev did you yeah sorry uh, app studio Windows Phone. Um, no way. I mean, when link, man? Should link. Start the link, okay. No, I do it. So I'm going to log in into my account to show you the App Studio. And I'm going to sign in. OK. Uh, you can just go into Create. And you can choose from the very template, all the templates that you have seen down here. Uh, you can create from an, uh, an empty app. Uh, let's see, for example, this. Use this template and create an app. So it will give you this basic template for like a diet application. Here you can configure the content. It's really easy and really fun. You, have, you, you specify all your data sources, the menus, the items. 
here you have for every for everyone you have this this section here for example Monday you have the Monday collection and once you finish customizing it you can uh, customize a little bit the, the look and feel of the application and then on the generate you will just ask it to generate the app I will say yes it will take some time like one minute or so and it will generate the code for this app uh, and it will publish it so you can download it it's, it will not be published to the store but you can you can from here also publish it to the store but, but basically you might need to change something or Do maybe you have to have code which you can sign that you can direct on the phone and download it on the phone so basically this 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 place here is the most fun place for for development uh, you have all these templates and uh, all you have to do is watch like okay here you have the this QR code so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scan it using the Bing scanner okay sorry so when I scan this code here it is camera I'm just opening the camera okay but uh, you moved it well it's still no it's still still active okay so uh, the QR code will will take me to the installation so basically now it's somewhere installing Just my can, my diet. No idea. My diet. My diet. My diet. So when you here, you have this the app that you created that you have just in two minutes created a Windows Phone application, and really uh, the the App Studio, uh, the web app Studio, it's really uh, you, know, you can do anything uh, inside it, and you might need also to maybe you might need to as well download the source code from here if you want to customize it a little bit more so you can download the source so you download the source code you download the SDK you have all the tools you have everything you have the virtual academy basically it's a matter of five or four days and you will be delivering maybe a great app thank you